Aloha everyone and welcome to another Decorum Arms product video. We are very excited to unveil our latest product for uh, the London Bridge Trading 6094 plate carrier uh, or really any other plate carrier that has this uh, hook and loop style kangaroo pouch built in to the chest rig or the plate carrier for the addition of magazines. This feature is one of the features that drew me to the uh, 6094 itself. And a lot of you may have noticed that previously I had this insert in the plate carrier with bungee retention. The trouble is, this only works on 556 magazines. Well, in my recent foray into the LR308 slash AR10 platform, I wanted to be able to carry 308 mags, P mags, in the kangaroo pouch without having to attach anything to the outside. So uh, I set about working on a Kydex solution, and it looks kind of like this. Uh, there is hook and loop on the front and back. I drilled some holes in the bottom uh, to let the water out. Probably going to end up making those a little bit bigger, right? And it does provide retention for your 308 mags, but not just 308. Set those aside for a second. No, it wasn't good enough for me, being me, to make them only work for 308. Do they work for 556? Yes, sports fans, they work for 556. Okay, how about 545 by 39? Yes, they do. How about 762 by 39? You betcha. This is as close to a universal system as I think you're going to find. Um, so there are three of these currently in the pouch. And though I use a slightly wider plate carrier because I have slightly wider plates because I am a slightly wider and taller human being, um, these should all still fit in a normal medium size plate carrier. In a small size plate carrier, uh, you might end up losing one magazine, at least rifle magazine, which can easily be replaced with a pistol mag. So, how about G3 and foul mags? This is a GI style steel magazine for my AR-308. Uh, it's very similar in size and dimensions to uh, the FAL and the G3, and it is straight-walled like those magazines. Yeah, that fits in there, no problem. Uh, I don't suspect, I don't have any G3 or FAL magazines. If you'd like to send me some, I would appreciate it. You can reach out to us on Twitter. I'll put a link in the description. The thing that prompted me to make this was not only my desire to have 308 in the kangaroo pouch on my plate carrier. A lot of you have seen these. I don't actually know who makes this, which is good because I'd get in trouble calling people out on the internet. But this is what you typically find as a universal magazine holder. There are a number of things I don't like about these. One of which is I am not a fan of the Velcro flaps. Why? I've seen people fumble with these during a mag swap. They go, whoop, comes up, and it falls right back down, and now it's already reconnected. You have to start the process all over again to get the magazine out. Another big reason I don't like these is particularly if you run 5.56, five, okay? And you basically get two 5.56 five, magazines in here 
and it offers very little in the way of retention for those without the Velcro flat. Because again, you know, there's room for for two 5.56 five, magazines. Now these work fairly well in the realm of AK magazines, and that's really kind of their target market. It's for people who want to be able to run AK and AR pattern magazines without really having to worry about buying an additional set of pouches or swapping them off a plate carrier or a load bearing vest every time you want to change calibers. This, in my opinion, is a much more elegant solution to this problem because it provides Kydex retention and it provides the same level of retention regardless of the magazine. Or close enough to the same level of retention. And because this is hook and loop in here, um, if you have taller magazines like 762 by 39, you can in fact move it further down into the pouch uh, to give yourself more room up here. Uh, I'm going to be testing these pretty extensively over the next couple weeks as the weather's beginning to warm up now. And um, hopefully I'll have them up on my Etsy store soon. They are currently only available in black. And we'll be looking to change that eventually as well. So until next time, friends, aloha and be excellent to each other.